There's been a plea agreement in the 1986 case of missing Union County toddler Corey Edkin. Today is Monday, February 12th, and this is 570 News on the Go, brought to you in part by NorthCentralPA.com. A winter storm warning has been issued for the mid-state for overnight Monday into Tuesday with 6 to 9 inches of snow possible. Today will be the calm before the storm with partly sunny skies and a high in the mid-40s. A woman was killed in a pedestrian vehicle accident in Milton. The Standard Journal reports the fatality occurred Saturday afternoon at the intersection of South Arch and Race Streets. The name of the victim has not been released. A family of three was hurt in a horse and buggy accident in Union County. 28-year-old Ruth Zimmerman of Middleburg was ejected along with her 5-year-old and infant sons when their buggy was hit by a pickup truck driven by 72-year-old Dean Walter, also of Middleburg. Zimmerman and her 5-year-old sustained serious injuries while the infant had minor injuries. That accident occurred Friday afternoon on Route 104. There was an armed robbery at the pantry store on East Central Avenue in Avis on Friday night. A man entered the store, displayed a large butcher-style knife, and demanded the safe be opened. He then jumped up on the counter and attempted to gain access to the cash register before fleeing the scene. Tips can be submitted to pinecreekpd.org. A Mifflinburg man enters a plea in the 1986 case of missing toddler Corey Edkent. The Daily Item reports 55-year-old Henry Bush pleaded no contest to lying to police during an interview about the disappearance of the new Columbia child. By pleading no contest to a charge of obstruction, he does not admit guilt but agrees there is enough evidence against him where a jury might find him guilty. Bush reportedly gave conflicting answers when it came to whether he was staying at the new Columbia home when the child vanished. DeSalvo's restaurant on East 4th Street in Williamsport was the scene of a two-alarm fire late Friday afternoon. Fire officials said the blaze appeared to center around the restaurant's ventilation unit on the roof. There were flames coming from the unit and smoke in the first floor kitchen, second floor banquet room and attic. Most of the fire was knocked down within 15 minutes. Commercial Air Service is returning to the Williamsport Regional Airport this spring. Southern Airways Express officials said tickets are expected to go on sale April 1st, beginning May 23rd. The airline will fly nine-seat passenger planes twice a day from the Williamsport Regional Airport to Washington, D.C. Tomorrow in Harrisburg, more than 400 vehicles will be available at a Commonwealth auction. Vehicle offerings include a variety of four-wheel drive, utility vehicles, pickup trucks, minivans, and more. More information can be found at dgs.pa.gov. And historic cars taking part in the annual Great Race will be stopping in Lewisburg in June. Approximately 120 cars will stream through the downtown with the drivers stopping at Huffnagel Park to grab a bite to eat. The Great Race is a competition featuring antique cars. It starts June 22nd in Kentucky and ends June 30th in Maine. They'll be in Lewisburg on Wednesday, June 26th. For the latest in news and events, head on over to northcentralpa.com. I'm Liz Brady, and you're up to date with 570 News on the Go.